Okay, so you want to undervolt your RTX 2060 to get more performance, less temperature, less power consumption, and even reduce the noise of the fans, especially if you have a coil wine. Well, this is the right video for you. This will actually work for the RTX 2060 Super as well as the RTX 2060 KO. I don't know if you know what it is, but uh, if you have one, you probably know what it is, and this video will work for you as well. Now, I don't like to waste time, so I will just give you guys the preset immediately. You can copy it and then and later on in the video I will just give a few tips in case you want to stay but in case you don't want to stay you just want the preset look at it and then you can close the video but please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to help me make more of these videos now for this tutorial you will need two softwares Heaven Benchmark and MS Afterburner now both links will be down below in the description so just go download them and then see you in Windows okay so what you want to do is open up Heaven Benchmark not in full screen mode and then on top of it Open up MSA Afterburner. Now, at this point, if you have multiple GPUs, just select your GPU right there. And now you want to go into settings and enable voltage control, voltage monitoring, hit apply, hit OK. Perfect. Now, here's how you do it. OK, very quick, super quick and easy. So you open up the curve editor right here. You bring it to the side super simple then you go into the core clock and you give it minus 300 megahertz right there then you grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and you bring it up to around 1900 it can be a little lower it can be 1888 it can be just a little bit lower but ideally as close as you can to 1900 it's gonna be fine and then you just hit apply just like that and now at this point you want to just fully unlock the power limit i will explain that later on in the video and you want to go on the memory clock and give it a nice 400 megahertz boost. Hit apply and you're pretty much done. You can then go save the setting into one, click on one, hit apply, go into settings, set it to start with windows, start to minimize, hit apply, hit OK. And you can just close it, forget it and the undervolting is done. So if you just want to copy it, you can just follow this drop a like, subscribe to the channel and close the video. But in case you want to stay and learn a bit more, maybe see what to do in case this is not uh, working for you. Well, here we are. So first off, this will work for any brand of RTX 2060 out there. Now I'm using an MSI one, but it doesn't matter. Even if you have like an ASUS or EVGA one, you still want to use MSI Afterburner. In case your card crashes in games, you want to lower the core clock a little bit. So how you do that is you just reset all of it. You still give it minus 300, but this time you grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and bring it up to like 1800. Now 1800 is going to be stable for everybody out there. And so you can just save this one. And then again, you can give it memory clock offset. But if you're doing this just for temperatures and efficiency, you don't even need the memory clock offset. But without this, you're not going to be getting extra performance. Now, why are we unlocking the power limit? Well, just to avoid any kind of power restrictions, the card is not going to hit power limit either way because we are undervolting it and power is the product of voltage times current, right? So it doesn't really matter, but you just want to unlock it to make sure that's the key. So. Since you're still here, in case you want to make your card even more efficient, what you can do is actually go into here, give it a nice minus 300, but this time grab a lower voltage point. So if you grab 850 and bring it up to like 1800 around there, okay, there we go. Your card will draw even less power and will be even more quiet and will be even more efficient. So you might like it, actually. So this is something else you can do. Another thing. You can also give it more memory clock, but you need to do some testing. 400 works for most cars. If you're very unlucky and this crashes your system, just put 300. It's free performance, but uh, on the best cars, you can do like 600 stable. In my testing, if you have a super variant, it's going to be maybe even a bit higher. Super have better clock in memory in my testing. So double check that one as well. And also, of course, in case you want the maximum performance ever possible on your card, you might go all the way up to 950. I wouldn't really go higher because you hit power limit, but for example, minus 300, 950, and then like 1950. This will give you a very nice performance boost with maybe 500 on the memory clock if that's stable for you and with everything unlocked. You might like it, but hey, if this was helpful, I have many more guides on the channel. I do CPUs, I do budget builds showing you 
how to build the cheapest PCs you can imagine, and many other things. So maybe check out the channel if you like the video. So yeah, drop a like and a sub. See you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.